Okay, so I had to make another video because I'm getting a lot of comments about Christian struggling. Uh, do Christians struggle? The answer, the overall answer is no. Uh, I had mentioned to Morris Blackburn, which is where this came up and got started, that struggle was not normal for a Christian in regards to his uh, homosexual thoughts that he admitted he struggles with. And I have been getting hit by uh, a few comments uh, that, oh yeah, Christians struggle. Uh, but that is a false narrative that already shoots someone in the foot as a Christ follower or someone thinking about converting to becoming a Christ follower. Uh, so do Christians struggle? Um, the, the overall answer is no. And the reason I believe this is because the only consistency as Christians we have is killing the flesh stand in spirit uh, to not allow the devil to steal our crown bearing our crosses and resisting sin these are consistencies but each and every one of those things that I mentioned should be by the Lord's power and grace and our faith and trust upon him should be overcome to cease to be a, a struggle when we come into Christ uh, struggle becomes uh, struggle comes with the territory how else do we live and learn and use the weapons of Yeshua uh, that he provides for us in order to now be an overcomer and not uh, be in burden or in bondage of the struggle that, you know, we can't overcome on our, on our own. But struggling, consistent struggle is not normal for any Christian. If you are struggling with sin to where it's easy for you to give in to sin more than to resist it or you're just not there yet you're going to struggle yes until you work that out through yeshua uh yeshua's help but best believe your your free will flesh will 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 make you and keep you in struggle because it has no place in the walk of a christian's uh life and walk because in the walk of a christian uh we practice to live by the spirit to overcome the flesh uh, by the power and grace of our Savior helping us and guiding us uh, until we, we struggle less or not at all or no more ever again. Struggling is not uh, you following the Bible and, and not being tempted to lust after a person you see begin to take captive that thought to the obedience of Christ, making you, know, making you repent. That is not struggling. That is you being obedient to overcome a sinful situation. Uh, just like we're all supposed to be doing because that's, that comes with the territory of being a believer who lives in a sinful vessel trying to follow after uh, Yeshua. But believers uh, believe this is struggling. No, overcomers are not strugglers. If we are struggling, we have not overcome is all. And if, and if we pray asking for you know the heart of what Yeshua HaMashiach wants, we will hate sin and be prone to resist it uh, than to struggle with it in our walk. Everyone believes that they cannot follow the Ten Commandments and, and, and because it is or might be a struggle. Ask a striving Ten Commandment follower who's been in the practice for a while, is it a struggle? It's only a struggle when we are still a flesh, if not dominated by it, or still worldly, not of faith, not of obedience unto Christ. But that's not the ideal life or way of a Christ follower, a believer. That's simply a process we all have to go through until we overcome and can practice living to follow the Ten Commandments without struggle. Because happiness is in obedience and, be and becomes a part of obedience, not the consistent hardship of the struggle. Personally, I live uh, by following the Ten Commandments and I don't struggle with it as I did before. Yes, coming into it in the beginning because I practice pleasing flesh, but that won't work when you try to obey commandments. So over time, by prayer and the grace of God, following his, his ways, his commandments became easier to where it was not a struggle uh, because the life of a striving Christian, a, you know, striving in holiness and obedience and repentance is that it becomes harder for us to sin. Therefore, to struggle becomes less, if not at all. Uh, we don't remain in that struggle. We start to overcome it to where we're easily overcoming it. When we don't remain or persist in struggling. If a b believer is struggling, they just haven't gotten to that point uh, to, to, to struggle less, uh, to where it becomes easier to not struggle at all. But brothers and sisters, the struggle is a process in our walk. It is not the normalcy or consistency of believers. It's supposed to be a temporary, consistent 
heal we have to learn to finally climb and conquer again by the power and grace of god to help us overcome this uh the, the, the current struggle that will prepare and help us uh to overcome the next struggle or heal but struggling is not our bag overcoming is our bag it's in our walk that's the ultimate goal if it is you know and, and by you not overcoming you're not growing in your walk because you are defeated by struggle you can you can say struggling is a part of being a believer but that's because of you because jesus don't have have uh departments or he don't specialize in struggle over our lives he he's here to help us to overcome not stay in struggle so it's more reflection that that a person might still need to deal with things until they overcome but don't label the life of a believer the walk of a believer don't label that as struggling struggling in the aspect of, of, of christianity is a brief temporary test that shall cease or pass in a christian's walk depending on said believer morris blackborn struggles with homosexual thoughts but deliverance would cure that to where there is no longer a struggle or the struggle will stop a believer can sin and ask the lord to forgive and take away the desire to commit the sin but jesus is not going to bless you to continue the sin he's going to bless you to eventually take away the struggle that makes you want to sin so easily uh because it's not normal for any of us to work to, to just stay in struggle mode uh so by the by the power and grace of yeshua we're able to overcome the struggle because none of us uh, can do it on our own and there was a story of a prostitute a, a woman we'll call her jenny who received a track one day that led to her becoming saved turning you know to christ reading the bible and, and living to follow jesus yeshua until she met a woman who was supposedly christian uh, and asked her had she received baptism of the power of the holy spirit and you know the woman jenny was like no but she craved everything the lord could give her so she went to the house of this woman who laid hands on her and nothing happened jenny was not able to speak in tongues and the woman told her that she was grieving the holy spirit not allowing the holy spirit to speak through her which made jenny feel guilty and bad and horrible so the woman invited her to a church and a guest speaker was there so jenny came down and the guest speaker you know laid hands on her and she felt after that a, a ball of fire you know strike her right in her stomach knocking her back on the floor uh and the fire went up to her chest and immediately she started speaking in tongues but what had happened was when the man touched her she received an unholy spirit uh, a transparent spirit and for years jenny had stomach pains intestinal pains doctors could not diagnose she had difficult difficulty reading the bible unable to maintain a clear mind long enough to read it uh for you know no more than two minutes she became very ill and depressed and discouraged i mean she was struggling brothers and sisters and the only way she could pray was in tongues uh but she came across a, a deliverance minister who had you know came to believe she had a false demon in her and told her to go ahead and speak in tongues and keep speaking in tongues no matter what he said to her so jenny uh did this she started speaking in tongues to this guy and the guy started to say in the name of jesus christ my lord and savior i command you to tell me what do you have to say about jesus christ which jesus do you serve and to the surprise of jenny herself she started speaking back in tongues cursing the guy out recognizing immediately to her shock that un that an ungodly spirit was speaking through her because it had been exposed so she had a demon in her and you might ask well you know she was a christian she was a believer how can that be to where a demon invaded her or got into her well you know she didn't follow the word of god she allowed a guy without testing the spirits which we are commanded to do to lay hands on her accepting whatever that man told her and chose to give her and that's how demons can come come in because the word of god tells us to test all the spirits and 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 and, and by not living by the word and following it she made herself susceptible to a demon but she became free and that struggle that torment uh, that tormented her for years uh was over the struggle the, the health problems that came along with that demon are gone because the end game is overcoming we just have to recognize that in things and know the scriptures so the devil can't trick us and, and and we have to believe in yeshua's power because struggling again is a brief temporary test that shall cease or pass in a christian's walk depending on said believer and many do not recognize the tactics of the enemy living a life of bondage to where they go through uh or see someone they know go through struggle and start to label struggle as the overall life of a believer when it's not our lord and savior who is the great 
greatest overcomer uh here to help us overcome he is our resource in that department so i'm not going to claim that christians normally struggle that's a false narrative and no one should be claiming that also because struggle is a part of christianity it is a part of christianity but it's not the ideal life of a believer it's it's not the normalcy of a believer if we are forever going to struggle how is that even a sales pitch for a for a for a heathen struggling in in their in their life uh but they but they at least they know how to cope with it by you know another simple thing like you know turning to drugs and alcohol so you know why would someone living a heathen life be swayed to become a believer if people are labeling labeling christianity as a struggle it's not going to make people feel like trying to, to to dare jesus and and, and convert and, and and be saved because they're already struggling you know pleasing the flesh they just have other sins they cope with to make it uh to make it go away temporarily if there is just uh more struggle from you know the heathen lifestyle that you know people lead why would anyone choose christ if christians or the christian lifestyle is is a struggle or all about struggle and morris blackborn struggles because he refuses to acknowledge a demon therefore he denies the power to not struggle yet to be free and because of that christians struggle and they say christians do struggle no he's struggling other people with other testimonies no longer struggle and that's the life of a believer by the power and grace of yeshua with us uh to help us overcome and not to struggle or stay in struggling mode people you know still struggling that means you still got work to do in order to overcome overcoming is the end game the goal uh that's the consistency in the life of a believer overcoming not struggling when you struggle that's supposed to be for a brief temporary moment that shall pass and cease if you're not overcoming that struggle that means you have work to do or that means you're still going through that process but that's not the life of a believer struggle is not the life of a believer christians don't struggle now people who are dealing with strongholds uh and due to the free will choices that they have made they they are struggling but they need deliverance in order to not struggle anymore because again you know the life of a believer is about overcoming christians should not be struggling yes we have to deny our flesh and all that but that's the lifestyle of a, of a christian we don't struggle uh to the point where you know it's just it's just totally out of our control god gives us by his grace and his power the full armor he gives us the, the you know the desire to pray and, and handle uh sins resisting temptation and, and turning from sin but when it comes to much and people get defeated by that and are they just are they going through that they label the life of a believer as struggling no you're struggling but it's not about struggling it's about overcoming and until you grab or obtain that testimony you're going to be in a struggle mode until you overcome and that's what i was trying to that's the distinction that i was trying to convey and to make that believers don't really struggle they all they are overcomers and if they are struggling they still have work to do they're still going through the process but they can still overcome and that's the life of a believer you guys take that to the lord in prayer until next time next video next live blessings and shalom